Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Saturday, September 5th. And it is crazy uh, that we're already five days deep into September. Uh, time, I don't know about for you, but time is simply just flying on by these days. So, um, friends, uh, we do not have uh, officially uh, a feast day today. Um, it has not yet made the, the general uh, calendar uh, for, for saints and feast days. But uh, in some areas of the world, uh, St. Teresa of Calcutta, uh, his feast day would be today. Today is the day uh, that she died just a few years ago. Um, and so, um, while not officially in the, uh, in the text, uh, we do celebrate St. Teresa of Calcutta. So friends, we begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Let us listen to the voice of God. Let us enter into his rest. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us listen to the voice of God. Let us enter into his rest. As light of day returns once more, with joyful voices let us sing to God of glory infinite, to Christ our Lord for all his grace, through whom the great Creator's will Call day and night from nothingness, appointing them successive law, till time itself shall pass away. As morning breaks, we sing of your mercy, Lord, and night will find us proclaiming your fidelity. It is, good, it is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night. On the ten-stringed lyre in the loop, with the murmuring sound of the harp, your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foes. My ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Take our shame away from us, Lord, and make us rejoice in your saving works. 
May all who have been chosen by your Son always abound in works of faith, hope, and love in your service. As morning breaks, we sing of your mercy, Lord, and night will find us proclaiming your fidelity. Extol the greatness of our God. Give ear, O heavens, while I speak. Let the earth hearken to the words of my mouth. May my instruction soak in like the rain, and my discourse permeate like the dew, like a downpour upon the grass, like a shower upon the crops. For I will sing the Lord's renown, O proclaim the greatness of our God. The rock, how faultless are his deeds, how right are all his ways. A faithful God is without deceit, how just and upright he is. Yet basely has he been treated by his degenerate children, a perverse and crooked race. Is the Lord to be thus repaid by you, O stupid and foolish people? Is he not your Father who created you? Has he not made you and established you? Think back on the days of old. Reflect the years of age upon age. Ask your Father and he will inform you. Ask your elders and they will tell you. When the Most High assigned the nations their heritage, when he parceled out the descendants of Adam, he set up the boundaries of the peoples after the number of the sons of God. While the Lord's own portion was Jacob, his hereditary share was Israel. He found them in a wilderness, a wasteland of howling desert. He shielded them and cared for them, guarding them as the apple of his eye. As an eagle incites its nestlings forth by hovering over its brood, so he spread his wings to receive them and bore them up on his pinions. The Lord alone was their leader. No strange God was with him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Extol the greatness of our God. How wonderful is your name, O Lord, in all creation. How great is your name, O Lord our God, throughout, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens. On the lips of children and of babes, you have found praise to foil your enemy to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you cared for him? Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hands, put all things under his feet, all of them, sheep and cattle, Yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air, and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God! How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth! Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty Lord, how wonderful is your name! You have made every creature subject to you. Make us worthy to give you service. How wonderful is your name, O Lord, in all creation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Bless your persecutors. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Have the same attitude toward all. Put away ambitious thoughts and associate with those who are lowly. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is my joy, O God, to praise you with song. It is my joy, O God, to praise you with song, to sing as I ponder your goodness, to praise you with song. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, it is my joy, O God, to praise you with song. Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old, 
that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. Let us celebrate the kindness and wisdom of Christ. He offers his love and understanding to all men, especially to the suffering. Let us earnestly pray to him. Perfect us in love, Lord. <clears throat> this morning we recall your resurrection, and we long for the benefits of your redemption. Perfect us in love, Lord. Grant that we bear witness to you today, Lord, and offer an acceptable gift to the Father through you. Perfect us in love, Lord. Enable us to see your image in all men and to serve you in them. Perfect us in love, Lord. Lord Jesus, you are the true vine, and we are the branches. Allow us to remain in you, to bear much fruit, and to give glory to the Father. Perfect us in love, Lord. Gathering these prayers and praises into one, and calling to mind all of those people that we've promised to pray for, those people who have asked for our prayers. We lift up our voices, using those sacred words of Jesus himself, as together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, we praise you with our lips and with our lives and hearts. Our very existence is a gift from you. To you we offer all that we have and are. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me for morning prayer this morning from the Liturgy of the Hours. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I, uh, I really do appreciate uh, just this time, this opportunity uh, to pray with you, um, whether we be near or whether we be far. Um, and so... I don't. I have no idea what it's going to do outside today, um, but I hope it's nice. So, friends, uh, whether you are out and about today or whether you are staying in, um, remember to be safe today. Remember to be healthy today. But, friends, remember to be holy today. All right, and may God be praised through you. May God be praised in you. And have a beautiful day.